Hi friends and welcome to the channel! Today I want to show you a really neat tool called iSpring Suite that lets you create courses right from within PowerPoint. In the upcoming video I'll show you how easy it is to create a course like this, complete with slide templates, backgrounds, characters, videos, engaging interactions, quizzes, and a lot more. When you're done with the course, you can publish it to HTML5, to a video, to something for a learning management system, or you can even publish to a YouTube channel. A big thank you to iSpring Suite for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in trying iSpring Suite, I've included a link below in the description to a download that you can try out for free. Let's get started. First things first, we need to install iSpring Suite locally, and it'll then show up as an add-in in PowerPoint. If you go to the link in the description, It'll take you to this page where you can start the download. After the download completes, it's an easy install. Just follow the wizard. Once the installation is done, you'll see a new tab in PowerPoint here, and version 10 is what I'm currently using. For today's video, we're going to create a simple onboarding course for a company called Tiny Realty Corporation. I've created and saved a blank template here in PowerPoint, and we're going to start with some of the slide templates. The content library is full of goodies. Lots of different styles of templates that you can use, just to give you a bit of a preview here. And for each one of these, you can click on the arrow to see more. There's a lot here, but if you're using the trial version, this top urban template will be available with all of the different templates here. This is the one I'm going to be using, so you can follow along with me. All right, we're going to start with the course title. So this first slide here, select that and insert. And then we'll update the text here, just like you would update any other placeholder text in PowerPoint. And then a brief course description. And we're already done with our first slide. Now let's add a second slide, so back up to Slide Templates. For this one, we'll go with Main Menu, insert that. And this will serve as our course overview. By default, we're getting five modules. It's easy to delete or copy and paste these, though. I'm going to fill in the text here. So module one will be first things first, a tour of the office. I'll fill in the rest of the text here and be right back. Slide two, done. Now let's build out the different modules or sections of the course. So another new slide up here. For this one, let's click the arrow to expand and get more options. I'm going to use this 50-50 picture top template. And this will be for our first module of first things first, a tour of the office. I'll update the title to that. And then I'll replace this text down here with a few bullets. Here's where things start to get fun with the different media you can use. You can add video and audio to the course. To do this, I'm going to click on Manage Narration up here on the top left. From here, you can actually record audio or record video to insert into the course. Or if you already have audio or video that's pre-recorded, you can insert it here. And that's what I'm going to do. So up here on the Insert Grouping, we'll select Video. I have a welcome video here that I'll choose and say Open. We'll insert it at the beginning of this slide, and I'm going to adjust slide duration as well, which means this slide will stay active for as long as the video is playing. And then insert. There's the video. Now we can hit play. This is just a stock video that I'm using. It doesn't have any audio, but obviously if you had your own videos and they did have audio, those would be playing here. But for an onboarding course like ours, perhaps somebody's doing a welcome video or an office tour, something like that. So we'll say that we're good with this, and we will save and close up here on the top left. Moving right along, next up we have the company history. For this, I'm going to be using an interaction, and I really just need a blank slide. So I'll come into the Home tab up here, and we'll insert a blank slide. And then coming back to the iSpring Suite tab, we'll do an interaction. And then click New Interaction. There are a lot of different types of interactions here. We're going to use two of them in this course. I think for company history, something like a timeline is perfect. So let's select this one and create interaction. You'll see these are broken up into periods and events. Not all of these are required, but they do let you group things into larger phases. For our course, let's say that the first period or grouping is called in the beginning, and then a short description of this group. Tiny Realty started small, two people in fact. And then we can go down to the event. So we have one event here by default. We'll say this event was the founders of the company met, and then a description of that. I have some bullet points here that I'll paste in. And you can do some basic styling up here with headings, bold, italics, bullets, and so forth. All right, now let's move to the next period here. We'll say this is the first office. 
and it was humble. For this event, we'll say that the first office was in the park. And then a description. You can also insert pictures here, so let me show you that up to insert and backgrounds. There are lots of different options here that you can choose, but we are going to go with the park and insert. And then I'll fill out the rest of the periods and events here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we have the growth phase and the cafe office with a picture of the cafe. Let's do a quick preview of this right here. And you'll see how the periods and events work. You can either click on the dots down here, or you can navigate through with the next buttons. You can also see how it looks on different devices. So phones and tablets with different orientations. The last thing we need to do is go to properties. Right now, this is just called timeline. So we'll update this to be company history and apply and close. And then we'll save this entire interaction and return to the course right here. If you need to get back in to edit this interaction, you get a handy tip up here that you'll just need to hit the interaction button and that'll bring it up in edit mode. Okay, next we're going to do another blank slide here. Similar, we're going to be using an interaction, this time for company values. So I'll come into home, new slide, and blank. And then back to the Ice Spring Suite tab and interaction. Once again, a new interaction. And for this one, let's use the accordion interaction right down here and create. And this one is built with panels. Let's say that each panel represents a company value. So panel one value will be have fun. And then for the description, I'll enter some text here. Next panel or next company value is be real in a short description there. And then finally, our third company value, get stuff done. We'll go up to properties on this and update the title as well. So this will be company values, apply and close. And then let's preview this whole thing. And here's our accordion. So you can click on the different panels here and see the company values. Okay, so that interaction is done. Let's save and return to course. Next up, let's do a dialogue simulation. These are really great for role plays or practicing responses to questions, perhaps in a customer service scenario, that kind of thing. For our course, we're going to be using this for the day in the life of section where a character talks about what to expect at the beginning of each day. For this one, we'll also just use a blank slide and then we want to insert a dialogue simulation. We'll create a new simulation and these are built out as scenes. We'll do a new scene. And here's where you can choose different characters from the library. So click on the no character here to choose your character. Quite a few things to choose from here. We're going to go with this character right here. You can change the expressions. So this is a nice feature. Some of the different options. Let's go with happy and then close. You can also choose the background. So if you come into images here and click on the background, for this one, let's select something that looks like an office or a boardroom, conference room, that kind of a thing. Here's one. And close. And then back to the content tab here. Here's where we want to start filling in the dialogue. Our character is going to say, welcome. Our days usually start off with a short meeting. And then to build out the dialogue, you can add replies right here. The question somebody might be having at this point is, do I need to attend in person? And another reply might be, what do we discuss during the meetings? We'll come and link these up to different scenes once we build them out. But for now, we can close this one. And you can move things around here on the design surface. Let's do another new scene. For this one, we'll use the same character. And it recognizes what we've used in the simulation, which is nice. This time, we'll go with the normal emotion. And then for background, let's go with the same background. And close. And for the speech here, she's going to be answering one of the replies from our previous scenes. So she'll answer the question of what we discussed during the meetings. And then a reply to this would be, got it. And then right over here, there's this link icon. We want to drag this to link it back to the original scene. So in other words, when somebody says, got it, we're going to back up and then we will be able to ask a different question. You'll see the tooltip there, just drag to link. So we'll drag it over to this scene. That worked, and now we can close. 
and you'll see the arrow there that connects these two. Let's add another scene to respond to the question about do I need to attend in person. So new scene, I'll go through and update the character to be the same, and then the background to be the same as well. Here she's answering the question about attending in person, and again we'll just say got it, and this will let us link back to that original screen. So drag to link this, close, so we've got our responses linked back to the original screen, but we need to link the original screen to the responses now that they exist. So coming back to the first scene here, do I need to attend in person? This needs to link to the third scene down here. And then what do we discuss? This needs to link to the second scene. Okay, we should be good to go. We'll close out of there. Now let's do a preview. Here's the welcome message. Do I need to attend in person? There's our response. We can say got it, which is going to take us back to the original scene. And then the second option as well. And got it. Okay, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and save and return to course. We want to end the course with a congratulations and next steps. So up here under slide templates, expand the arrow. And there is a template with a congratulations right here. Conclusion, insert that. And then I'll just update the text here to what happens next and some bullet points. All right, now our very last slide is going to be a quiz. So here again, we just need a blank slide. I'll insert new slide blank, and then we'll insert a quiz. You have options for a graded quiz or just simply a survey. Let's do a graded quiz so I can show you some of those question types. Up here, if you select the drop down under question, you'll see the different options you have here. There's quite a few that you could do. Let's just keep it simple. We'll go with a multiple choice question. The question text will be which of the following is one of Tiny Realty's company values? And then our choices. So I'll fill in embrace change. You can also use a picture along with your answers here, but we'll just keep it simple. We'll go with text, have fun and be honest. And which was the correct answer? It was to have fun. So we'll choose that as the correct option. There's feedback and branching down here, whether somebody got it correct or incorrect, and then what to do next. We'll just go with the defaults there. We'll preview this. If I choose the correct answer, have fun. I got the correct response. Yay. And I can view results as well. If we replay and choose the incorrect answer, that's what that experience looks like. Okay, we'll save and return to course. And the course is complete. Let's go do a preview of the entire course to see how that looks. I'll click on preview here. This might take a few seconds to generate the content. And here's our course. I'll quickly click through a few of the slides here. You'll see our video. Here's the different interactions. I'll just go through those quickly. The accordion. There's our interaction. I'll just skip through this. Congratulations. And there's our quiz. Okay. Now I do want to show you one other option for the player. I'll click on player up here. If you have video that's used throughout the course, you might want to choose the video lecture player instead right here. Let me just show you what that looks like. Apply and close. And then if I preview again, Here's that experience. Now we only had the video on the one slide, so I'll move to that one. But this lets you drag the screen to either enlarge the video or enlarge the slide. So if you do have a lot of video, this can be a more engaging way to go. Okay, the very last step, let's talk about publishing. So I'll click on publish up here. To publish this locally to your computer, you can do that in an HTML5 format or video, which will give you an MP4. You can host this in iSpring Space or iSpring Learn, which is iSpring's learning management system. Or if you have a different LMS that you're using, you can output this into the different formats for the LMS profile, things like SCORM, AICC, and so on. And finally, YouTube. Just sign into your YouTube account here and publish it directly to your channel. So that's it. There's a lot more that you can do with iSpring Suite, but hopefully this video highlights just how easy it is to get started. If you want to try this out on your own, use the link below in the description to download a free 30-day trial from the iSpring website. Thank you so much for watching.